A democracy is a political system in which the people periodically, by majority vote at the polls, select their rulers. The rulers then have absolute power to make whatever laws they please by majority vote among themselves. In a constitutional republic, the people also, by majority vote at the polls, select rulers who make laws by majority vote among themselves. But the rulers cannot make any laws they please because the Constitution severely restricts their lawmaking power. The ideal of a democracy is universal equality. The ideal of a constitutional republic is individual liberty. In this century, great strides have been made toward the goal of subverting our republic and transforming it into a democracy. The foremost tactic of the subverters is subversion of language. By calling America a democracy until people thoughtlessly accept and use the term, totalitarians have obscured the real meaning of American principles of government. Writers of the Constitution were anxious to safeguard liberty against dictatorship, monarchy they called it. But their chief anxiety was to protect the country against democracy. Edmund Randolph, delegate to the Constitutional Convention from Virginia, said the general object of the convention was to provide a cure for the follies and fury of democracy. Elbridge Gerry and Roger Sherman, delegates from Massachusetts and Connecticut, urged the Constitutional Convention to create a system to eliminate the evils that flow from the excess of democracy. Alexander Hamilton, delegate from New York, said, We are now forming a Republican government. Real liberty is not found in democracy. If we incline too much to democracy, we shall soon shoot into a monarchy. John Adams, one of the giants of the American Revolutionary period, said, Democracy will envy all, contend with all, endeavor to pull down all. And when by chance it happens to get the upper hand for a short time, democracy will be revengeful, bloody, and cruel. America was founded not as a democracy, but as a constitutional republic. We pledge allegiance to the republic for which our flag stands, not to a democracy. The Constitution requires a republican form of government for all states, but does not mention democracy, and neither does the Declaration of Independence or the Bill of Rights. Holman asked him what kind of government the Convention had given America, and Franklin replied, a republic, if you can keep it. Very old and very wise, Franklin saw through the mists of time to the day when Americans might trade their freedom in a constitutional republic for the promise of government guaranteed equality and security in a democracy. And beyond that, to the day when democracy inevitably degenerates into dictatorship, guaranteeing nothing but poverty and serfdom for the people it robs and rules.